Okay, I'd like to show you uh, how to do something. Um, a lot of times um, the uh, uh, files in the old CPM days were stored as ARC files, ARK. And you can search around. Uh, this uh, directory here comes from um, classicm, classiccmp.org. CPM archives, mirrors, this is the uh, Oakland uh, uh, public share of a bunch of stuff. Anyway, it has a 483, which is what I'm interested in. So it has this file here, f83.arc. And so I've downloaded that file onto my hard drive here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, the uh, CPM machine and we're going to transfer that file over. So we're going to use Xmodem. We're going to say we want to receive that file. We're going to put it on the A drive. We're going to call it f83.arc. And now it's waiting for that file. We say file, transfer, xmodem, send. We point to the file, which is this one. We say open. And now it's transferring that file. Um, I found that you must have hardware handshaking on. So in the TerraTerm uh, program, make sure you're going to set up where the COM is um, set up and make sure you turn on hardware handshaking so that RTS and CTS are working. Otherwise, you'll get some errors. Um, you need to be able to have that hardware handshake to hold off the data transfer if it's not ready for it. So um, I didn't have that set originally and uh, you'd get halfway through the file and it would hang. Um, so once I turned on hardware handshaking, then um, everything worked great. So let's get this transferred over. Okay, let's go to the A drive, take a look, and there it is. Okay, uh, so what I was talking about was under setup, uh, serial port, this flow control, make sure it's set to hardware. Um, okay. All right, so we have it here. Um, built into the um, ROM WBW, um, they give you the unarc program. So we can go to B, we can say unarc, and we can say F83. And what that'll do is it'll look through that file and it will give us the contents of that file. So here are all of the things that are inside that file. What we want to get out is this f83.com. And um, I think that's the only file that we'll need. Might be another one, but we'll find out. So um, on, oops, B, on arc. The way that you do this is you say unarc the file name, and then you can say what other file you want, um, and it will extract it. So we're going to say unarc f83 to the A drive. We want to get f83.com. And it uh, looks like I did it. So we can take a look. There's f83.com. So if we say f83, there we go. We've got we've got fourth running. Excellent. So we can do like one, two, plus, print, three. So it's good. So we have a uh, fourth up and running again. So that's great. Anyway, um, there's a ton and ton and ton of uh, CPM files out on the web. All of the old uh, BBS um, data collections are all online, so you can get anything, anything you want. You want to run Forth, you want to run Fortran, COBOL, uh, Algol, anything is out there. Um, and so anyway, um, that's great. Let's see here. How do I get out? Bye, I think. Bye. Yes. So that, anyway, I showed you how to transfer. Um, showed you how to do an unarc um, and these arc files and um, 
yeah so there's another program that i wanted uh let's see here let's go to uh, we can say b uh, x modem we're going to receive a program called list but i always do, i used to always call it d so i'm going to say we're going to receive a file we're going to call it d.com and it's going to be waiting for it and i'm going to transfer a file x modem send and it's called list um, list.com if you're looking for it in the cpm archives uh, and it's going to send it assume that was a fast one so now we have this d and d is a quick um, dir right there's dir it's dir isn't always great you say dir b it's kind of but if you say d b now it gives you better. Um, it's uh, it got the file sizes and everything on here, so it's a little bit nicer. So I always had that on my old uh, my old system. So I got that back. I've got to go find Adventure. Um, I know a lot of people like Zork, but I like Adventure. Um, to go find that. Anyway, so much for now.